Damn, so this shit crazy.
hold that thought. Hold that thought because the mic is still not on yet. All right. I see it. As I see it, but it's not fully on. Hold on. Three, two, one, and. Now we're good. Now we're talking. This is the real mic. This is the real mic right here. All right, famo. If you guys are tapping and showing that love and support, please make sure you guys run up and drop the AOs, drop the good mornings, drop the happy thirsty Thursdays. If you guys are coming in and showing that love and support, drop the AOs, drop the good mornings. We've made it to another day of life, another live stream for you guys up in the building, man. Appreciate you guys. I know I'm late. I know. My excuse, there's no excuse. Your boy just beat you, just, you know, there's no heat dropping, so might as well just casually calm his roll down a bit, you know, get his get his AOs out the way, straight up right in the morning and stuff. So, apologies, I do see Marcus. Marcus is saying, what, what was Marcus still? Marcus, you still up in the building? Where's my Marcus at? Where's my Marcus? Um, He says, damn, bro, if you met 830, then say that. Says Marcus, damn, I, I I feel his anger through the screen, man. I'm sorry, Marcus, I'm sorry. Um, Renee, what's up? Good morning, fam. Good morning, Jasmine, what's up? George, what's up? Rico, what's up? Geronimo, Gabriel, JoJo, Kevin, Gabriel, once again. Oh, and he's, oh, Gabriel, that was funny, huh? I see how it's going. Chicago's Finest, what's up? Nitro, what's up? Wilson, what's up? Mr. Abby, damn. Okay, you guys are waking up today. You guys are waking up this morning. Let me find out. Let me find out. Well, Ricketts, what's up, famo? What's up, BG and family? Hope y'all all had a great week so far. Um, nothing, no, no complaints whatsoever for your boy BG. Um, your boy's just been grinding. Um, you know, I've been slowing down a bit, but at the same time, I feel like I've been an improvement as well too. Um, I think I found my new, my new form of content being shorts. Um, I don't know if you guys have been seeing your boy BG this whole entire week, but ever since the new year, I've been dropping shorts. And I think, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I really enjoy doing shorts. So, um, I think we're going to be seeing more shorts, like, almost every single week. Like, legit. So, if you guys don't mind, if you guys do push those shorts, I think it could help out the channel grow. And I think it could help out our, our um, social media platforms grow as well, too. So, um, yeah, let's keep on, uh, yeah, let's keep on showing that love and support on those shorts as well, too. And we can keep on grinding, for sure. So, thank you guys so much. I feel like you guys... You guys been liking the shorts as well, too. I think it's more interactive with you guys as well, too. Head out of the what's up? Morning, BG, and happy Thursday, all. Yo, happy Thursday, family. And also, 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 we got news. I think you guys already heard if you guys were a BG member. But, family, I have a new phone working ready to go. So, that means I have a personal phone and I have a working phone now. So, I have two phones now. So, um, I think we're going to get this new membership going if you guys are interested, all right? If you guys want my personal contact, that means you guys have the right to text your boy BG whatever time frame, whenever it is, um, for any questions you guys may have for sneaker releases or just flat out, just have contacts just to have. Um, I will pop that up for a certain membership. Again, it's only going to be for a few accounts because or a few people because I'm only human. Um, and you guys will have, uh, my personal account, uh, my personal contact. So in case you guys do need anything when it comes down to sneaker releases, or if you guys got a question, or if you guys just want to have simple sneaker talks, or if you guys do want to have that one-on-one -on -one basis sometimes, like within like a FaceTime or just a video call or whatnot, you guys will have that perk. You guys will have that, uh, initial detail if you guys do want to have it. Um, uh, but it's only going to be for certain accounts, family. I can't do too many of that. So... Once I tell you guys not to join that membership no more, you guys are going to have to respect that and don't join because it, it can only be working with so many few of you guys, you know? Like, I'm only one person, so um, if, it, if it does get to the point where it's overwhelming, then I will have to end, it, end the memberships, which I wouldn't want to do that. But uh, just stay tuned for the new membership to come up. It's probably going to be sometime from this month, but we have two phones, one for the personal and one for work. So, uh, yeah, I've decided why not just to make it a bit better for you guys if you guys do want that initial contact. If you guys don't want me to feel like, if you guys feel like I'm already missing out on your guys' comments or missing out on your guys' DMs or whatnot, uh, well, for sure for that one, you guys will have my direct contact. So you guys don't even have to worry about me missing out on it because it'll just flat out be on my notifications right then and there. So if you guys are interested in that, I will definitely have that because now we got two phones. Um, and um, I definitely think it's going to help me out a bit because I want to... I want to separate work and, and uh, my personal life, so um, I think that's going to be definitely helpful and might as well just have that added right then and there. Um, so, so what's up? Rick B, what's up? Hello, BG and fam. Hello. Daytown, what's up? Yo, BG, 
Um, I'm on the West Coast. You stream super early, but good morning. Yo, J-Town, I appreciate you, man. I know, man. I used to stream in the West Coast too, man. I used to wake up like at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning almost every day, and I was falling asleep on the stream. So, dude, I, I feel you on that, bro. I feel you on that. But thank you guys so much. If you guys are in the West Coast, I appreciate you guys waking up so damn early. If you guys are in the East Coast and you guys are waking up early as well too, man, I appreciate y'all 1,000%, man. 1,000%. The grind does not stop, man. Also, I do have a, to take care of a package. So instead of me doing that outside of the stream, I'm actually going to do it here within the stream. Shout out to Freddy. I've mentioned Freddy before. You guys may see him in the chat. Uh, Papito, what's up? Mr. Abby, what's up? Um, I mentioned to him that I was going to ship him out yesterday, but since I had no printer uh, or no print, or basically I have no ink to print paper out. Um, I'm going to have to ship it out via USPS right then and there. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to uh, box up the, the shoes here on stream so that way he show uh, he knows and I can show you guys how I do it myself. And then, um, yeah, and then I'll ship them off today. So I just want to do some content for you guys since it is a slow day as well too. So something works. Uh, what's the dealio? What's up, Curtis? How you feeling, man? Oh, man, what's up? Good morning, man. Uh, BG, can you cover some Air Max 1 releases for me? Question mark, says Chris Ease. Dude, as far as for Air Max 1s, I don't even know what's going to come up for Air Max 1s. I don't even see Air Max up, uh, Air Max 1s loaded up. Which one specifically are you aiming for? Will Ricketts, what's up? Ari, what's up? Happy freaking Thursday. Ari, what's going on, sis? Crypto, what's up? Bro, so no more Jordan 4s dropping this month, question mark, or all through the year? So, Crypto, basically, the only thing I can see that's a Jordan 4 that could drop this year, I mean, uh, this month for U.S., would just be probably the bread fours if they do end up dropping as a shock drop. You know what I'm saying? Cole Fitzwater, what's up, man? Don't delete your comments, man. Don't don't delete your comments if I still haven't gone to a family. I really want to get to each and every single one of you guys, but you guys got to be patient with it. Don't delete your guys' comments. Don't delete it because it'll be harder for me to like even try to tap in with it. Just leave them there. If you guys feel like I haven't read your comment, just let it sit there. Let it sit there. Just let it sit there so that way I can get to it. Because then it's like, dang it. Makes me feel bad. Um, so, so what's up? Okay, Gavin Gates, two phone. Yeah, not like that, fam. I just gotta, you know, it's not like that, but, um, it's better, it's better for your boy. Just like, you know how there's people that need a checking account and a savings account? Uh, yeah, that's the type of time that I'm on. It's just too much going on and I don't want to mix up the things, you feel me? I want to see a phone for the personal and just another one. Plus, I needed to update this one. This one was like dying all the time, so it's like basically the trap phone. It's the second sneakers app phone. That's about it. Uh, Cole Fitzwater, what's up, man? What message retracted? I can't read it. I can't read it. Um, AP, what's up, man? BG, what's the membership question mark? I'm not playing for your number. Um, or I'm not paying for your number. If you want to give me your number and link up and talk, etc., you can DM me your info and we can talk. Plus, um, let me see. We can pass our personal info that way. Says Will Ricketts. When it comes down to it, Will Ricketts, like I said before, it's only going to be for, for uh, certain accounts. So if you guys are not interested, you guys don't have to. You guys don't have to, but I know there's certain people up in there that have been mentioning like, bro, you don't reply, you don't respond back, what is this, what is that? So if you guys do want that initial perk and you guys want it right then and there and have my direct contact at all times, might as well just make a membership for that as well too so I can feel like I can push myself to like pop it up. Um, Tony, what's up? Reimagine Black Tails is a must uh, Is a must this year. What's up, BG? What's up, Tony? Um, yes, so as far as for reimagines, whether it's the four or the one, I do agree. I do believe that it's going to be one of the most anticipated reimagines. If not, um, it's going to be one of the big ones for this year. So um, everyone's been talking about it. I think that's the first thing that a lot of people are going to be going after for it, for sure. For sure. For sure. So I know that's like probably going to be the most anticipated thing for reimagines. It's going to be those black toes. Those black toes. And then reimagined fours are coming up. So it's going to be the first thing we, get, we uh, take care of. West Coast Early Risers, love you, BG. Um, I'm by far, a, dude, I appreciate you guys, 1,000%. I am by far a, a morning overnight person. So early mornings are great for peeps like me. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you guys. You guys have no idea. I remember it was so difficult for me to like wake up for a stream um, over there just because I was trying to stay up and trying to take care of business with family over there. And it was just like, by the last day, I'm not going to lie, I, I felt bad leaving. I felt like I didn't want to leave, but... Um, I needed to, man. I needed to get my sleep. I needed to get my rest. I needed to, man. I kid you guys not. 
Um, Fire says, you can cancel your people's membership on Discord. Question mark needs to know. I don't know, Fire. I don't know. And I don't have, um, I don't have Discord, so I don't know. I wouldn't know what to tell you guys. I wouldn't know. Me and Discord don't get along, man. I don't know about Discord. Uh, good morning, Sweet Cheeks. JJ, what's up, man? <laughs> All right, what's up? Personal phone and trap phone? Yes. Personal phone and trap. I'm, I'm sure you guys got multiple phones. So it's nothing new. It's nothing new. I want the ones more than the fours. And I'm sure you guys do just because, family, it is a Jordan 1 black toe. And if the lost and found Chicago's were a banger of a drop, if they just, I'm just saying, Jordan 1, lost and found, right? I'm just saying, hold up. And then black toe. All right. I'm just saying, family, if they just do this colorway within this type of timing, all right, with the cracking, they don't have to mix up. I'm sure they won't do it. They don't have to do much with the black toe for it to be a banger for a reimagine. If you guys want this to be a banger, Nike, if you guys are watching, all you guys would simply have to do is just legit do the same exact thing. Maybe a slight bit of a difference on the swoosh or maybe on the toe. Um, but that's about it. You keep it simple. Keep it leather. Keep it like kind of somewhat vintage vibes to it. And I think it should be a banger. I think it should be a banger. Not much going down to it. Just don't switch out the leather. And you should be, it should be somewhere near Chicago lost and found vibes. You feel me? And I think that's what people want too. Unless, unless, unless you guys think different. Let me know in the chat. What would make a black toe a must cop for you guys in that reimagined vibe? I think all it takes is just getting some nice little cracking going on. Maybe an aged look to it, just a slight bit. And, and tweak up a bit on the toe a bit, maybe. And that's about it. That's about it. That's about it. You guys don't have to do too much for it to be a banger. It's already a great colorway as it is and we haven't seen it drop in a while. Keep it simple. Keep it slight bit simple. And that's it. And let, let the reimagined vibes take over. That's it. That's it. Um, I'm thinking about copying the Navy 3s, dropping this month in EU. Are they worth it? Question mark. I'm pretty sure we're getting Navy 3s over here too in the US, no? Isn't January going to be with Navy 3s too? If I'm not mistaken. Um, But... As far as for threes, I mean, I wouldn't go for threes if you guys think that they're going to be reselling. I have two phones. There you go. I'm sure a lot of you guys got two phones. Fire Soul, what's up? Will Rickett says, I agree. I agree 100%. All right, we got one person right up in there. Only got one phone, not drunk. Oh, my gosh. Good morning, BG. Happy payday. Happy payday, man. You guys get payday on Thursdays? Sheesh. Are the Black Toes good material? Question mark. I've never owned a pair of black toes before, so I don't know what to tell you guys for this one right here. If you guys ever owned a 2016 black toe, let me know in the chat. How was the materials? It seems like it's a regular, regular Jordan 1. Like, basic materials. That's about it. Regular, regular materials. Nothing special about them. I need to cop those lost and founds. Uh, Rigby says, thanks, Curtis. I mean, they're nice in hand, question mark, because they already dropped in the U.S., right? If you guys are talking about... The Midnight Navy 3s that dropped last month, they're pretty decent, but uh, I don't think it's a must cop. Like, you guys can definitely hold up on it, and you guys will most likely get them under retail. If not, you guys can most likely get them under retail over there. But, um, yeah. I want the pick showed. Um, it ain't that serious to me. Okay, so you're talking about the... I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same picture that Sniper dropped you guys as well. I'm pretty sure, or unless it was, was it Sniper? Hold up. Sniper kicks Instagram. I'm pretty sure. Wait, what the heck? Sniper licks? No, Sniper kicks. Oops. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, this is it. Dude, He's his page is growing like crazy. Last time. Ah, this is it. This is it. Um, if they just do this, this would go crazy. But I highly doubt it, though. I highly doubt it. But if they just do, if, if we're talking about this image right here that we've seen, 
this is all they got to do. This is all they got to do is just give him a slight bit of some like. That's it. There's some slight cracking here, some slight cracking here, some slight cracking here. Maybe an aged look on the toe area, perhaps. And that's about it. Keep it simple. And then on the bottoms, of course, make it look a little bit worn or something. And that's it. It'll keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it simple and it'll be a banger. Let the reimagined vibes take over. And that's about it. If that were to drop, if something like a black toe like this were to drop, I feel like some of you guys might consider a black toe being a better color than the Chicago's in this. Who else agrees or disagrees? Let me know. If you guys got to pick and choose, let's say if this was going to be the initial drop or this was going to be the initial shoe for later this holiday season, would you guys pick the black toe over the Chicago's or are you guys picking the Chicago's over the black toes? Let me know. That might be a, that might be a video for later uh, earlier today. That might have to be. That's going to be a good discussion topic to talk. So just know that we'll drop you guys a video by 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for that as well, too. <clears throat> I'm just hoping everyone keeps the same energy they've been having towards the Air Jordan 1 for the past two years, says Tommy. I don't know if that's going to be the case for some of these Jordan 1s for this year. Jordan 1s for this year look pretty, pretty decent. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. Better than the ones from last year, I, uh, if I say so myself. Black Toe Low is still one of the faves of last year. Looks good on feet. And I think I still got my pair. I actually I do have my pair. Where where my pair at? It should be up there. No, actually it's not up there. It's in the it's in the room. Yeah. Nike, please get me the black toe cor uh Nike, please get the black toe correct. Just have great quality material. Color J, what's up? Both colorways we go uh yeah, I know I know for a fact they both go hard, but which one is the preferred one out of them both? Like, I know Chicago's are, like, the number one for some of you guys because it's, like, the staple piece, but also Black Toes are up there as well, too. They're up there as well, too. I feel like I hear more Chicago's being staple pieces than Black Toes, but ideally a Black Toe over a Red Toe, I would probably take 10 times more, but I still feel like Chicago's are more superior in my opinion. I would take the Chicago, but the Black Toes are definitely up there. They're definitely up there. Even, it could be better. I could be biased towards it. I could be biased towards it, but I think I'm going to still say Chicago, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people say black toe. It's easier to match with. It's a black, it, it, it's a black toe. Doubled up on Lost and Found. It's going to do some um, same with the black toe. And we're going to talk about which sneakers you guys should be holding off for this year. Because I feel like there's going to be some prices some prices on the resale market that's going to be switching up because of certain drops for this year. So we're going to take care of that as well after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got to get this um, box going on and uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing for it or how I usually ship out my boxes um, or my my uh, my sneakers. Uh, let's see. What is the estimated release on those black toes? So since it is the holiday season, I'm assuming that it's going to be somewhere around November, like the late November. Possibly right around that November 17th vibe, right? Or uh, or December. Somewhere around December. So I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be right around November 17th through probably December 21st. And we'll leave it at that. That's probably going to be my, my estimate for when we're going to be seeing these officially released. Now, as far as for shock drop, as far as for sneaker pass and stuff, that could very much take place during November or before November. You never really know. You never really know. So I'm already assuming that we're going to be seeing shot drops and exclusive access and yeah, either exclusive access or sneaker passes or an early release of some sort. I'm pretty sure because the way they got stock for the lost and founds, I'm assuming that it's going to be near lost and found stock numbers, like 500K. Matter of fact, even the Jordan 4s, the, even the Jordan 4 breads are probably going to be stocked up right around 500,000 pairs. So just off the rip, I know there's going to be a good amount of stock. Off the rip, I know there's going to be a good amount of stock. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy, though. Tayway says, BG, where's your Stanley Cup? Man, I should be going. I should be lining up for Stanley Cups, matter of fact. I should be lining up for Stanley Cups, man. What are we doing up in here? I should be going to Target right now and lining up. KP, what's up? Matter of fact, it's too late now. They've already been lined up. Nah, but for real though, I'm not lining up for a cup like that, man. I'm going to lie. I don't really need a Starbucks cup like that to begin with. I just need a cup that'll do me justice. Matter of fact, I, re I refill bottles. I refill bottles. I'm good. Tony, what's up? Black Toes with my black jersey, number 23. Let's get it. 
Um, I'm still around. Not that anyone cares. Just had to slow down and stack money for my baby next month. Hey, DJ, don't ever say that, man. You're part of the OG family up in here, man. Don't ever say that we don't care about you because flat out don't. Like, I can already tell some of you guys when you guys are not here or not, bro. I can feel your guys' presence. When you guys been here for quite some time, I feel your I feel your presence. And I also feel it when you guys are not here. Like, I, I, I can tell the difference. So... Don't ever say that no one cares about you, bro, because we definitely do care about you, and I care about you if you guys don't feel like no one else cares, all right? So just know that. Just know that. I take that, like, literally, that kind of hurt my feelings. I thought we, I thought we, TJ, I thought we were more than that, man. TJ, what the heck you heck, man? Um, but um, congratulations on the new upcoming baby, man. I, I appreciate you guys for sharing that, man. That's a lot, that's a lot to take care of, so we understand, dude. We understand. Um, let's see, Renee, what... I like those lots and founds, but I don't think I look good in Jordan 1s. Renee, as far as for that, I'm not going to lie, man. My foot is fat as heck, bro. So I have extremely wide feet. I look like I'm choking out my lost and founds while I'm having them on feet. Honestly, it's all about just wearing them with confidence, and that's about it. I don't look good in Jordan 1s. I'll be honest with you guys. I look like I'm choking out my Jordan 1s. I look like I'm stretching out my Jordan 1s, but... Um, it goes good with the outfits, though. It goes good with it goes very well with the outfits, so I'm still rocking them. But uh, never, yeah, not everyone feel, yeah. There's some people that say that they don't look good in Jordan ones. I feel like I don't look good in Jordan ones either. Um, that's just my that's just my take. But I'm still rocking them though, regardless. I'm still rocking them. Still great colorway and it's still a great silhouette. Even if I don't look good in it, I'm still rocking it. Um, probably my favorite silhouettes to rock would probably be a Jordan three or Jordan four because of, I guess how thick they are, how wide they look. Um, what else? I don't look good in Jordan Elevens. I look like I'm choking out my Jordan Elevens as well too. Um, what's another silhouette that's somewhat like slim? It's like a, it's like a, yeah. What what's another slim silhouette like that? Jordan Levens is another one. Damn, what else do I rock other than Jordan one, Jordan ones, threes and fours? Oh, uh, you guys see my collection right here? You guys, all you guys see is just Jordan threes, fours, just literal. You guys just see the threes, the fours, the fours, the threes, the elevens, the ones, the fours, the fours. I see twos, I see sevens, but you guys don't hardly ever rock twos or sevens. You guys don't rock fives like that either, unless it's like, yeah, unless it's like super hyped up, like a Ama Manier collaboration of some sort. Yeah, you know, let me find out you guys are actually the hype beast up in here, man. I at least rock fives that don't don't tap in and collabs, all right? That don't tap in. You guys are the ones that stay tapping in with the fives on that type of timing. Let me find out. Let me switch it out. Why am I the high beast? Why? I think you guys are the high beast, all right? The, the sneakerhead high beast up in here. Zach, what's up? Back at it. Uh, good morning, BG. Back at it. Back at it. Zach, what's up, baby? Um, see, you talking about holding on. I think most of us wearing black toes, says Curtis. Ah, you see, here, here we go. Yo, I know that for a fact that you guys are going to be double dipping, all right? If it looks close to this, double dipping, one to stock, one to rock, one to for investment purposes and all that good, good. Um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a shoe that people are going to be rocking and they're going to be like having as investment. Having as investment. It depends on how they look though. We got to see official images. Travis Scott, Olive Release is real. Yes, it will be happening later this Matter of fact, I should be dropping you guys a video today about that as well, too. Or short. I should be dropping you guys a short. If you guys don't mind, run it up on your boy's TikTok. I know some of you guys don't have TikTok, but your boy's definitely posting daily content. If not, let me show you guys real quick. Your boy's been posting daily uh, content on TikTok for quite some time. Oh, maybe that's why. I felt like I dropped a video or a short yesterday and it never went through. So it's all good, but we'll drop another one today. Um, but here's my TikTok family. Make sure you guys run it up. Make sure you guys run it up on TikTok and follow your boy BG on TikTok. We might be doing something crazy once we hit 1,000 on TikTok. We already got 232 followers, which I appreciate you guys 1,000%. And, um, yeah, so we're, we're running up content for TikToks like no tomorrow right now. We're just dropping like almost on the daily basis. Deontay, what's up? Yo, yo, what's up, man? I only need one pair. And so do I. I doubled up last year. No, I'm sorry. I keep feeling like last year was 2022. I doubled up two years ago, and um, I let go of my other pair, but I kind of regret it because I think uh, by the end of this year, we're going to definitely uh, we're gonna definitely see whether or not they're going to shoot up or they're going to stay or 
yeah, I, I want to see what's going to go down because honestly, this could definitely, this, this could very much be the best Jordan 1 lost and found or reimagined right now, or it could be the Black Toes. If it ends up being the Black Toes, I think resale prices are going to probably stay the same. If this is the better Jordan 1, um, Jordan 1 high for reimagines, I could definitely see this going above or right around the same price tag as, um, as the uh, Chicago's, but it definitely just does, it, it depends. It, it just depends. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like a lot of things from this year we're gonna definitely see what what's gonna go down because yeah, we just don't know. I just don't know. But I could definitely see Lost and Founds going up this year if if depending on how the Black Toes do. I could definitely see that. Followed you right now, BG fam. Thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate that, man. I only wear Jordan 14s. That's cap. No, no way. Just Jordan 14? There's no way. There's no way. Deontay, what's up? Doc Seuss, what's up? I'm wearing my Lost and Founds right now. Black Tail, Olive Khakis, Eggshell, um, FOG Crew Neck, and uh, these shoes go with so... Oh, yo, let me find out. Wait, you guys got the same khaki ones? The same olive ones that your boy got? Um, Ari says, Air Jordan 1, um, Air Jordan 1 always eat up the black, uh, the back of my ankles. Um, I was gonna say the black, the black of my, but, uh, yeah, no, that didn't sound right. Back of my ankles, and, uh, that's my fault for not wearing the right socks. Oh, they're burning up the, yo, that's the worst. That, that's what happens to me with Jordan 4s. You guys ever get that, have you guys ever rocked short socks with Jordan 4s, and you guys feel like the back of your, your, like, not, I wouldn't say your heel, but it's, like, somewhat near your Achilles, and you guys get, like, that, that, um, that, that friction between the shoe, the, the the tab, and your foot. Have you guys ever had that? Well, when it comes down to it, just start rock rock your Jordan 4s with high top socks because that'll definitely prevent it. But I could have sworn I did that with the topes and it was like killing the back of my freaking feet or the back of my freaking leg. It was just bur burning sensation off of that. Um, looked like I was getting sliced up. Sliced up with just that plastic back, uh, the the back tab. I need to cop the uh, I need to cop these from uh, my hubby or from what? He should let you guys, yo. If you guys gotta buy shoes from your hubby, that's crazy. Just take them. Just take them. You guys got every right. What's his is yours, and what's yours is his. Just take them things. You know what's crazy? I'm sure. I'm sure if I had another uh, if I had a wifey or something, I'm sure if we rocked the same size shoes, she would be just towing my stuff like no tomorrow. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of that that that's that's how it goes. And I'm sure if she has something nice that I could rock. If we had the both the same size 10.5, I'm sure I'm gonna be rocking her stuff too, just cause you feel me? Like, yo. Yo, BG, you ever think about uh doing like a top ten shoe of the year or maybe a shoe collection video, says E Dabber? You know what's crazy, E Dabber? I spoke about that. I was gonna drop a shoe collection video, but I decided I felt like it wasn't good enough. So I pulled back on it. And I feel like I want to wait it out probably later this year. I know it sounds kind of like, I don't know. But I feel like it just wasn't good. I feel like, yo, this video is not, I feel like I'm not proud of that video. or I feel like I'm not proud of the collection just yet. But, um, yeah, I thought about it. And I was like, let me just pull back on it. As far as for top 10 shoes, we already spoke about that throughout the whole entire stream. I feel like you guys should know what's my top five or top three. So I feel like that would have been just a, a, a just constant repeating for videos um what i try to do is i try to i try to have different topics for the streams and for the videos but sometimes the topics on the streams are good for videos to transition as videos like today what we're going to be uh, speaking about is most likely going to be part of our video for later around 12 p.m est so just know that we will drop you guys a video 12 p.m today it's going to have something to do with the Jordan 1 reimagined, and it's also going to have something to do with shock drops as well, too, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll have to make the video first to like, even like think about what's going to go down, but we'll see. Black Hat 3s is definite double up, BG. I don't know about double up for your boy. I don't know if it's a definite double up, James. I think Black Hat 3s are great in everything, but I think it's too early to tell whether or not people are going to actually cop them or they're just getting excited because of the name itself. I'm sure... Curtis up in here is going to be talking about, sir, the name itself, da, 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 da. So just I'm expecting that already. And I can definitely agree with him as well, too, on that. I feel like Black Hat 3s 
or a great looking shoe. I, I, I can't lie. I like an all black silhouette. It's a Jordan 3. I like my 3s. Um, but I'm not so sure if it's going to be fake hype right now. I'm, I'm not so sure if it's fake hype uh, or if it's going it, to... It's going to... Um, or if it's going to actually lead up to its ex expectations and it being a crazy sellout, a crazy tough time to snag them up. At the end of the day, it is a Jordan 3. I wouldn't want... I, I wouldn't want to think nothing different other than it being a Jordan 3. We haven't really cop 3s like that unless it's something as good as a White Cement 3. Ideally, ideally, White Cement 3 Reimagine and some of these other drops like J Balvin's or something hyped up like that. Other than that, I feel like it's a hit or a miss for some of you guys with some of these 3s. Um, yeah. BG, yeah, 4s have that issue. Will Rickett says, BG, yeah, 4s have that issue for uh, for sure, except the SB4s definitely don't. Yeah, exactly. That's one thing that I love about them is that that thing is, like, very much, like, it's like a flimsy, rubbery type of texture going on. So it doesn't feel like that. It does not feel like that. So you're the only spot, the only Jordan 4 that I would recommend you guys rock in short, short tube socks would be the SB4s. That's about it. Everything else got that plast plastic, firm type of vibe going on, so uh, just be very careful with that. Now, a woman with a 10.5 is wild, BG. Yo, I'm definitely, I'm sure there's girls out there that rock a size 10.5. I'm sure of it. Men's time, that's a 12W. That's like the biggest size. Uh, a, a size 12W in women's is probably our size 10, 12 in men's, all right? Like, that's the type of vibe we're on. Like, it's it's okay to have big feet. There's nothing, that's what I would say. A 12W in women's is probably the equivalent for a 12 in men's and, and, and guys up in there. That's what I would say. Technically, it's not. It's a 10.5, but you guys know what I mean. It's usually like the biggest size up there in our uh, in our stores or whatnot. So it's okay. It's okay to have big feet and still be beautiful at the same time. It's, there's no problem with that. There's plenty of women. Plenty of women. All right? They got that that Sasquatch feet, but still look amazing, still look beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. Normalize. Normalize having big feet for women. Jeez. Everyone can get the loving. Everyone can get the loving. Big, small, little, skinny, fat, whatever it is. It don't matter. It don't matter. We don't discriminate up in here, man. We don't discriminate, man. Um, <laughs> nah. Uh, need Black Cat 6s? Need Black Cat 6s? I haven't heard too many people talking about those Black Cat 6s, and I didn't even know those existed until someone brought it up two days ago. I did not know that. But do you think the Jordan 11 Gratitude should be a hold? That's a great question. I do feel like Jordan 11s go up. Nothing too crazy, but in that specific other way, I think it might do a bit better than some of the Jordan 11s that we've seen before. Yeah, because initially it's like a black, it, it's like a, uh, it's like a Concord. Low key, it's just a different, it's a DMP, it's a Concord-like looking shoe. So, I, I wouldn't see why not, but, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see. I think it, it does have the potential of going up. Nothing crazy, though, but I think over time, yeah. I think it's got potential. But they are sitting in some stores, too. BG, where do you buy your sneakers when you don't hit on the sneakers app? Typically on eBay or flat out from you guys. But, again, with me, it's a bit different. I want to say it's a bit different with your boy BG because, um, I mean, I have the platform, and I feel like, you know, you guys trust me enough to send it GUA, which is gifted upon arrival. So it saves me money. It saves you money. And, of course, I'm a stand-up person, so, like, it works perfectly fine. That's not the case with everyone. That's not the case with everyone. That's what I'm saying. So just don't do that with just anyone, all right? I take it with, like, you know, like, with pride that I'm very much a stand-up person. So if you guys send me something, I will definitely get onto it. Not to mention, I don't do it as often. So it's better for your boy BG just because I can keep up with every single transaction. I know some of, some people do that on a daily basis and have a lot of people just sending in sending in stuff so they can't keep up with it as well. Your boy BG definitely goes one on one. It, he definitely takes it tra one transaction by transaction. So um, I think it works very well with your boy BG. But other than doing it GUA like that, I typically stick to eBay. That's what I do. And I'm not sponsored by eBay. Shout out to eBay and everything. I love eBay. I'm not sponsored by them. But the only spot that I typically do things is through eBay. And that you guys can definitely see that through my selling and through my buying. Um, LV says, never wear ankles, daddy, with, uh, with J's. I mean, we got to normalize that too, man. There's no problem with rocking ankle, ankle. Why, what's the what what's the problem with that? I don't see a problem with that. I typically do it with some basketball snooze. Like, I, I sometimes rock short. Uh, yeah, short two socks with basketball shoes. I don't mind. I feel like that's different. 
I think a lot of people just have the high top socks and they're good to go. I sometimes switch it up a bit. I do ankle socks. As a matter of fact, I stand out so much that they just can't stop laughing at me. Like, I just, I don't know. There's just something about the hate towards short tube socks and basketball sneakers or, or uh, I don't know if it's just not a great look, but yeah. Uh, Dan BG on his shallow how? What is that? How? Wh what does that mean? A wise man told me. Um, I can't say that. Uh, the same wise man told me anyone can be ten out of ten with the light. Damn, nah, that's messed up. Hold up, that's messed up. And I didn't say that. Y'all crazy up in here, man. Let me find out, man. Yo, y'all crazy. I can't even say that. So I for the type of walking the dog, hubby definitely uh, hooks his lady up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you guys do have a lovely loved one, whether it's guy or girl, whether it's the doggies, all right, make sure you guys share your stuff with them. There's no, nothing wrong, man. If I got a pair of 10.5, if they can fit into it, go ahead. Just don't mess them up. Just don't mess them up. I'm going to be like this. Just be careful going out outside with them. Don't tow them too crazy. Careful with going out. Like, at least with rocking my shirts, I'm a, I'm a huge, one of my pet peeves. One of my pet peeves with anyone rocking my shirt, sweaters and stuff is don't get them stained. You can rock them. You can rock them, but please don't get them stained. Don't get them stained. If there's like a little pizza sauce on a sweater or a shirt, I get highly like, it, it irks me. It irks me. I don't want to see any red sauce on a white shirt. I don't want to see that. I wouldn't want to wear it no more. I would have to donate it. Or I would have to fix it up some way, somehow. You know, I was eating sushi in the west coast back in uh with my sister um and um i had like this dumpling and this dumpling was hot as balls like it was like too hot right so typically usually your boy bg splits it in half and then has it that way but i was just so hungry that i just placed it everything like right then and there like i didn't even i didn't even chew it i just had it there and then on when I was chewing it, my mouth was wide open because of how big the dumpling was. And I was just so hungry, I didn't give a, like, I didn't care. I just wanted to eat. Bro, I take a bite of the dumpling, and I guess the dumpling was so hot, and there was, like, mad, like, juice in, within the dumpling. And it squirts out. And it's, like, literally the tip of my mouth, like, paws, but it, everything is just like that. Right? And then I chew it, and then... The dumpling sauce or whatever that was inside just literally squirted out. And it was all in my babe shirt. And it was like a baby Milo babe shirt that I loved. And I still have it. And it's still stained to this day. I don't want to ruin it because it brings back memories because of like, you know, certain stuff like that with my sister. I don't see her often. So anything that like I rock or anything that I like have that takes me back to that time I typically keep for just, you know, like just memories and stuff. And then I'll always remember that stain because it was on our nice little uh, sushi. Uh, sushi vibe and now i don't want to rock it but it has sentimental value so yeah no yeah yeah so for next time around if you guys are eating dumplings and they're boiling hot depending on what type of dumplings you guys have just be very careful just be very careful make sure you guys split the dumpling and eat it and make sure it's like a bite size too because if you guys have it the, the whole way that i did it it's just gonna be messy it's gonna be flat out messy now i didn't score it into my mouth it didn't squirt into my mouth. I'm just saying it squirted out of my mouth. All right? That's different. That's different. All right? Let's keep our brain out of the gutter here now. All right? Let's not think so dirty thoughts now. All right? Y'all crazy right now, man. I can never say anything no more. It's just a bunch of pausing going on. Let me find out you guys are all from Brooklyn or something. Since when did you guys say pause? Huh? Crazy. Since when are you guys saying pause like that? Y'all are crazy. Yeah, yeah, nah, it, it was, yeah. BJ, I heard sneakers will be doing a restock on the 14th. I heard the 11th, I heard the 14th. We'll definitely see. We'll keep you guys up to date when it comes down to that. Um, It should be for EU, though, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. J-Town says, BG lore. For the Elementa, hey, yo, what's going on, Elementa? How you feeling, brother, man? Tenchi, what's up? Elemento, I forgot to mention, I did respond back to you a while ago, Elemento. Um, you said Merry Christmas, and I appreciate you guys checking up uh, on your boy during the holidays. Um, Elemento, I don't know, since you weren't a BG member, I feel like uh, we dropped you guys a BG, um, a BG post, or a BG membership post, but um, anyone that used to be a mod will no longer have that wrench status as of right now. We're doing a mod reset, so some of you guys that still haven't gotten to, 
Um, the majority of you guys, you guys should know already since you guys do tap in. But if you guys, I haven't seen you guys, then I'll most likely bring it up. But no one up in here has a wrench anymore. No one up in here won't have a wrench until, yeah. Yeah, Elemental, I figured you were going to say that. That's why I was like, you know, I seen Elemental, let me see. But no one here has a wrench. Uh, we're doing a whole flat out mod reset. Mod reset for 2024. So stay tuned. No one here is going to have a wrench until said otherwise. Um, Tenchi, what's up? DJ, what's up? Mr. Abby, what's up? BG, this is a PG uh, channel and you went X-rated. I did not. You guys take it X-rated. You guys technically... Yeah, you guys technically have it X-rated, fam. <clears throat> I can't even freaking talk right now. You gotta say pause twice for that one. Says SK, SK, what's up, baby? BG from Seattle, what he talking about? Hey, yo, don't talk. Yo, nothing wrong with Seattle, but don't say Seattle. Why Seattle? I, I'd rather be from Oregon and run it up in my little Oregon and Beaverton and run it up that way. I'm not, yo. Not saying there's anything bad with Seattle. Not saying that anything, but I'm not from Seattle. The, what, nah, can't be, can't be. I'd rather be if there's three. If there are three spots in the West Coast, you guys can probably pop me up in in Oregon. You guys can probably say, nah, I can't. You just gotta run it up in Oregon. I can't. I can't say that I'm in Cali because I didn't live there too long. I didn't. I never lived in uh, Seattle. The only other spot is Dallas, and I don't remember Dallas because I was such a such a baby. So I got to say, or don't claim Seattle. I don't claim Seattle. I claim Oregon, though. I feel like Oregon is a bit better, though. I feel like Oregon is a tiny bit better just because of, like, the sneaker vibes and stuff to it. You know, Nike, Nike headquarters and stuff. So we'll run it up. Beaverton, all right? Yeah, we'll run it up, man. I take pride in Beaverton. I take pride in it. They did go with your boy. That's why. Uh, BG starting uh, 2024 Wild. Oh, my gosh, family. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy up in here. I can't even read some of these comments, man. Um, I'm off the grid, says Ari. I hope, I bet. BG, you do got Seattle vibes. What makes me a Seattle S S Seattle Meriden? Let me know. How am I? I mean, I do. I mean, I'm from the what? It's right there. They're neighbors. I can see how, but at the same time. I claim my Oregon. I claim Oregon. Don't don't put me don't put me in Seattle. Put me in Oregon. Put me or New York too. Or New York too. Shout out to the eighty five up in the building. BG hates Seattle. That's crazy. I'm not hating on Seattle. I just you know like that's like you guys saying you guys are from Pennsylvania and instead, um. And instead, you're, you're you're claiming that you're from your uh, Jersey. That's like saying, yeah, you're from Jersey, but you grew up in Pennsylvania. Like, there's no reason to claim a, a certain state when you never like really grew. Like, you know, like you got so much, you got to rep where you're from. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing wrong with Seattle, though. Nothing wrong. There's still a calm place. It's a calm place to stay there. There's not much to do, but it's a calm place. Mr. Abby, what's up? Nike need to hurry this uh, bread force shock drop. Yo, when when we do, when we do, because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, the streams, the, the content has been slow since after December. That's perfectly normal. Usually I would panic, but every single January, it's like that. So we're hoping for that shock drop to hit because, geez, we're going to be going broke this month. We're hoping for a shock drop this month, man. I'll be honest with you guys. As a streamer, man, we're going to go broke if we don't get this shock drop this week. Or uh, I said this week, this... um. This month, I need it. I need it. I need it. Damn it! I'm not that that big in streaming just yet, fam. I'll just know that I'm just like you guys, but even worse, even worse. All right, I'm just like you guys trying to make it day by day in your boy uh and in, in his dreams, but we're st we're st right here. You guys are here. I'm right here. I'm right here. We're still. I'm trying to catch up. Red fours, tortilla fours, half onion bagel four. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting me hungry. BG giving off Cali vibes. There we go. That's what I... Well, but still. I, I want to wrap it up. Cali's, Cali's great and everything, too. Last time I tapped in in Cali, though, I was staying in... What was it? Brooksfield? Brooksfield or something like that. Back in, like, 2000... Back in, like, 2002. I was still a kid. 
Damn, BG taking shots at all cities and states. The only one that I'll probably say, the only one that I'll probably say, Oregon and New York City is where I'm at. That That's where I'm staying. New York City is probably the only spot that I can see myself living unless that house looks really nice somewhere else and I can afford it and I can just say, screw it, the hell with it. I'm getting that house, damn it. But uh, nah, I, I like New York, man. I like New York. Now you can either drop the white cement fours again. No vintage look just or uh, leather material. Isaiah just needs a damn restock on those white cement fours, baby. He just needs those white cement fours to come out once again. That's what you, my East Coast dad, says J-Town. Appreciate you. Man, you guys make me feel old when you got... Well, everyone can be a dad at any age, right? I was about to say, why... You, I'm getting there, though. Damn. I just realized that I'm actually closer to my 30s than I am to my 20s. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. It's, it's the end. That's it. I'm no longer considered... Dun, dun, dun. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I might have to... I might have to change my age. You guys know how you guys can change your your uh, your name and stuff? I might have to change my, my, my age legally and see how that can work. We might have to go back. If you can buy a house in New York, you'll definitely find a bigger, better one uh, somewhere else. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I mean... The, here, let me ask you guys a quick question, family. Let me ask you guys a quick question up in here. Now, if you guys grew up in a certain spot, if you guys grew up in a certain place, then that's basically what you guys right now know. There's no, there's nothing that you guys can say that you guys feel like this is your home and stuff. Like, this is literally it. Would you guys rather have a small little portion of a home and live where you guys been staying at basically almost all your life or halfway through your life? Or would you guys rather transition to somewhere else, get a bigger spot, but start from zero and basically just start from zero and not see your friends and family that you guys grew up with, not see the the places that you guys been around for quite some time that probably leads up to sentimental value. You know, let me know in the chat. Would you guys rather go at it strong? That's like that's like me saying, would I rather have a small little condo here in New York or would I rather live in like Jersey and start fresh and start new and just to have a different vibe, just a flat out different aura around. It's it's tough doing that after a certain age, I feel like. Uh confirm BG twenty six. Confirm BG seventy six. Alright, you guys you guys yeah, you guys forgot. I don't know, that's kinda hard for your boy, man. Unless maybe you guys are already up to that age where you just don't care and you just want a new life. But I feel like I don't want that right now. Maybe that's what that that's why I'm stuck on it. That's why I'm stuck on the thought that I want to stay here because I don't want to start fresh because I'm still relatively fresh. I feel like with with this life right now, it's kind of weird. My B day's been coming up. My kid has been called. That's the thing though. Kids will always be saying that we're old now because we're the new. We're the new. Yeah, I, I guess we're the new old guys around. Nah, we're good. I, I'm sure. I'm sure we're still young up in here. We're still, we're still right. We're still young, right, fam? No, no, you're good. You look, you look mid twenties. Could be a friend I met in college. To be honest, hey, listen, I'm still good. As long as I'm in. Damn, I used to be considered. Yeah, nah, never mind. That, that's crazy. I think I'm starting to catch up to my age because uh, I used to be considered like way older than my age, and now I'm starting to like get note like people are starting to hit the spot now with the ages. Um, that's why they make uh, cell phones. Yeah, but it's not. Wh how am I supposed to go back to New York? How am I supposed to visit the city? How am I supposed to just like go out in an adventure with my phone? Just the videos. Videos don't do it justice. So you guys do it in person, man. Don't matter where you live, if you stream for a living, it doesn't, it doesn't. That's what a lot of people have been saying as well too, man. If you guys do make it as a streamer, it doesn't necessarily matter where you guys are at. You guys can work at home. You guys don't need to do much with cars and stuff. You guys can just stay at home and work, but it's more about, it's not just about working though. It's literally about living and it's literally, literally, literally about your, your personal life, I feel like. At that point, it's not so much about working for your boy. It's more about personal life and what, yeah, what hits home and what doesn't and stuff. Being afraid of change is a dangerous trait to have. 
So the thing is, it, maybe it's not so much of, about being afraid. It's just being so much accustomed and don't wanting to let go of that. That's all. Because I feel like if I do hear something nice for a house over there, maybe in Jersey, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting a house in Jersey, but still, it's going to be like, damn, I'm staying in Jersey, not in New York. I'm staying in Jersey and not in my hometown. Like, that's like, I'm not afraid of doing that, but at the same time, like, damn, like, I want to get this house in my hometown. Like, it makes sense. I grew up here. Might as well just make it happen here. But... I'll be 32 on Sunday. Nice, Joshua. There we go. What are the 32 vibes, man? What are the 32 vibes? What is the big 3-2 going to go down? I'm a small town Texas girl, but I've lived in uh, Austin for 22 years, and now I want to move to New York. Different vibes, too. And the thing is, as well as uh, when you guys stay in a big city and move away from that, it's kind of weird. It, it's kind of weird. Like, I've stayed in Jersey before. You guys seen me when I was doing the Jersey streams. I feel like I just was not enjoying myself there. It's definitely different. George says, yo, BG, you still tapping with that Trailer Park girl from Monkey App? No, I haven't. You guys, it's just for content purposes, family. Trust and believe. I don't keep up with anyone up in there in Monkey App. The majority of time when I'm on Monkey App, family, is literally just for you guys. I don't even do anything with Monkey App. Aside from that, like, if, if I'm not on stream doing it for content, I feel weird doing that. G's Turbo, what's up? Good morning. Good morning, famo. I'm old as F. I'll be 44 in a few months. Dude, that's not old, man. You're just starting up live, man. Doesn't life get good after your 50s? New York City is mad expensive. It is. It is. But if you guys use it as an investment piece, I mean, it should, it should be good to go. If you guys do invest in anything when it comes down to housing in New York, since it is like one of those those expensive states, and it's also considered a tourist spot, man. I think everything goes up in tourist spots, whether it's New York City, whether it is L.A. Uh, what's another tourist spot out there? I think um, I think Atlanta might be one, but it's still relatively cheap compared to, like, New York City and, uh, and New York City and Cali. Um, I can't tell. I can't, I can't hear about any. Yeah, I, I can't tell which what maybe – Florida, but Florida seems pretty cheap as well, too. And that could be because of the climate and stuff. Lived in BK all my life and bought uh, bought an SI. Staten Island, I'm assuming. I sent my, uh, I went to many state uh, looking for that right home and found it in New York. I'm good now. I'm good for now, says so Jasmine. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I know for a fact I should be investing something in housing very soon. I'm hoping to do it by the end of this year. Hoping, God willing. That's my goal. But we'll see. Again, God willing, man. And we're not rushing things. If it doesn't happen this year, it doesn't happen. Vegas is another spot. BG, you have a hate slash addiction relationship with Monkey Head. Man, I'm super, ha I'm super happy that I got done with that. Yeah. Vegas, yeah, because that you want it with Monkey App. If you guys have never used Monkey App Family, it's like this platform where you guys can talk to like random strangers. And usually, typically, I would say you guys got to be careful because there's a lot of like minors that are not supposed to be on there. Uh, I think you guys have to be the age of 18 to use Monkey App, but you know, these people end up just going on and they lie about their age and stuff. So just be very careful. You don't want to pull a giddy. Um, well, basically, um, Damn, I forgot. Yo, basically, w once you're, once it's your time to like jump off, there's like a slight, like thing on your guys' brains that says, nah, stay on and keep on doing it, and you're just like trying to let go of it and keep on talking to strangers. It's kind of weird. Um, Indigo Starcy, what's up? Miami is expensive as f unless you in the super hood. Oh snap! You see, I didn't know Miami was that expensive. Um, let's see. My Wi-Fi is being awful right now, and it's making me mad. You're good, Ari, man. It might be our booty Wi-Fi ourselves up in here, man. You guys do know we got McDonald's Wi-Fi. Good morning, family, and BG. What's up, famo? How you guys feeling, man? Oh, snap. I forgot, man. While we're here, man, you guys are going to help me out real quick, man. I'm going to show you guys what I do, um, what I do up in here. So, I got to ship off this package off, right? So, shout out to Freddy. He ended up purchasing the Jordan 4s in that... Um, I was going to call them semi-frozens uh, in my frozen moments in that frozen moments timing so let me just grab them up real quick and we're going to box them up man we're going to box them up and I'm going to show you guys what to do man because uh, yeah in case you guys have it alright let me just show you guys real quick let me just show you guys real quick alright let me just double check 
All right, perfect. Here's the box. Cool, cool, cool. Everything seems nice and neat. Now, I've already sent, uh, I've already seen, I said I've already seen, he's already seen, and I've already sent him uh, videos and pictures of the shoes, so he knows they're 100% dead stock. All right. Yep, dead stock. Um, they smell good. They look good. They feel good. I've never tried these on. Not once, man. Not once. But I can already tell someone's gonna be uh someone's gonna be rocking these even more than your boy BG ever will. So, yeah. So, not a bad looking shoe, but I just can't pull it off. I really can't. I think it's too much for your boy on feet. Um, as weird as that sounds. So I'm gonna just place that back. All right. I'm gonna make sure that it's wrapped up. This is in a size 12W, which is the same one that he wanted, so it's awesome. I think this is for his brother, which is awesome. He's doing his brother justice, all right? So we got that going down, all right? You guys are seeing it. Now, we got one of the BV boxes cases that we used for, or that they used, so we're just going to re we're gonna just reuse this up. I'm not going to lie. We're going to reuse this up, but before we place it up, we're not just going to place it by itself. We're going to pop up, like, styrofoam or something so it could, like, you know, all right, so you guys may not like this sound. You guys may not like that. I'm sorry. I had to do it for the one time. But I'm going to place the styrofoam right here so it doesn't have to shift inside the box. You feel me? You guys want to keep the box nice and tight for your shoe so it doesn't shift. Because you guys don't want your boxes to, like, get all bent and stuff, right? So I got the styrofoam right here, all right, on this side of the box. And it should fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pop it up right here, slide it through. Excellent. Damn, but there's still some space. We can actually get some more, uh... I think that's good enough though. Yeah, should be good enough. I'm gonna just pop up that styrofoam just in case, so it, yeah, we should be good. There's nothing gonna go down. So this is, yeah. So this is how it should be looking like, right? So just good enough. Close that bad boy here. And we should be good. So that's a good reasonable size box, right? A good one right there. We're going to just grab the tape. All right. It's simple work. It's simple. It's simple doing this, man. If you guys have eBay and stuff, if you guys ever sold on eBay, this is the same exact thing that I would probably do. Except with eBay, it's a bit easier. All right. So let me just have at it here. Right there. All right. Making sure that we do it. So when I tape it up, right? Dang, there we go. All right, so when I tape it up, I make sure I do it twice, just in case. Just in case. The second one is gonna be a bit smaller though. I'm gonna do it like this, this way. Yep, there we go. I do it like, like a cross, you know? Hold on, let me show you guys. There we go. All right, that's the last tape that I gotta use. All right. Perfect. This one's gonna go in the middle. So I do it like a cross family, so it doesn't like open up that way. You feel me? So I just got it. I got one strip going down, flat out, sideways, and then the other one horizontal. So yeah. So there's no way from this part that's gonna open up. And then from the bottoms, it's already sealed up perfectly, nice and neat. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. But for the the part that I've already opened up, I definitely do cross it uh, just in case. But it's nice and shut and nice and tight. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's probably going to be shifting a bit, but not as much with the styrofoam on there. So it should be good. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's how I box up my stuff. And yeah, so later on, probably within before one o'clock, before I head to work, um, I'll end up going to USPS and dropping that thing off so he they can give me tracking and stuff. And I'll send them off to your boy, Freddie. He already sent me his uh, location stuff. So we should be good to go on that. But uh, that's as easy as it gets, man. That's literal... Like, easy stuff. Dang. I forgot to do something, but it's okay, though. We'll do it for next time for if he does buy anything else. But, yeah. I just got my girl Frozen Moments for Christmas. There we go. That's a... It, again, when I, when I say this, family, just because I'm letting them go does not necessarily mean they're trash. They just don't look good on your boy BG. I feel like I can't pull it off. I can't. But it's looking like a good a, a good shoe to snag up. I believe Renee had them on feet. I've seen one of my coworkers rock them on feet as well, too. They look nice and neat. They were both girls, so maybe they look better on girls than they do for guys, right? So, yeah. Uh, BG, you never said a, a more truer statement. You always uh, want a tight box. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And make sure they're nice and perfectly sealed, too. 
All right. My Kobe t-shirt is way oversized. Anybody else have that problem? Oh, snap. Don't tell me that, JoJo, because I bought it in an XL, thinking that it's going to be, like, a bit boxy. I would hope not, though. I bought it in an XL. If it's too oversized, I'm going to have to let it go. BG looking for trash on the floor to put in the box to keep it tight. Yo, saw it. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. I was looking for wrapping. I sometimes have wrapping around. Matter of fact, I could have used some wrapping with this. You feel me? It's not trash. It's just wrapping. Something that will keep it from it shifting even more. But stuff like this. You know, this is from Space Age. Stuff like this to pop up. It should be good. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's pretty straight to the point, right? Not too bad. Do you print a shipping label at home or do you take... Typically, I do it at home because it's cheaper. But since I don't have any printing, uh, since I don't have any ink, I'm going to have to go uh, go in person. I'm going to have to go in person and do it. Uh, P pick I sent, BG. All right, let's see real quick. If you guys got any pictures that you guys have sent, hit me up as well too. Let's see real quick. Here we go. Interesting. We got some new Mamba merch. Dun, dun, dun. Where's that coming from? Coming soon? Hold up. Is that on the app right now? Damn, they got Mamba merch going down for the 19th. Is that what it is? Oh, no. The 9th? Hold up. That's not the 19th. That's the 9th. We got Mamba merch going down, huh? Okay, let's see this. What is this? Kobe. I'm going to just pop up Kobe. There it is. Shout out to at Mr. Abby, man. I didn't even know about this. Look, check this out, fam. You guys got Mamba merch going down. Coming soon. Yeah, for the 9th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Are we going for Mamba merch? It seems like it seems like we're leading up to Kobe. Just anything Kobe is going to be somewhat sought after for. Even for your boy BG, I wouldn't mind snagging up a black hoodie. But how much? 70 bucks. This is an affordable hoodie. Less than 100 is definitely affordable for a hoodie nowadays, I feel like. Definitely. Anybody going to be going for the merch? Let me know in the chat. Frozen Moments were sitting in the city. I was lucky enough to uh, to be on vacant and walked into Foot Locker. Or finished on Foot Locker. Uh, they, let me, uh, they let me buy them out. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Damn, they let you buy them out? So how many did you buy? I got two times. It's huge, BG. Oh, snap. So I should have gone with the large then. I might have to I might have to let go of it. Definitely going for the hoodies. Anybody know about this or what's up? Who here plans on going for the hoodies? Wait, what? Crazy on minds, what's up? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Do you guys already know about Daytona? What are you guys talking about Daytona? Let me find out. Where's where's Daytona as of late? BG be looking for trap. What's up? What's going on, Crazy on Minds? How you feeling, brother? BG, nah, you would tape down uh, the middle and tape the sides. Oh, when it comes down to the sides, I feel like that box right there is pretty shut. The only time I would probably tape the sides um, is when uh, when the box is looking iffy, like flimsy or just looking like it's about to like... Yeah, that box is pretty stern, though, so we should be good. We should be good. Um, let me see. Any other questions? Eight pairs? They let you buy eight pairs in finish line? Damn, I'm surprised they weren't being stingy with them. Already own one. I got the plug. Who got the plug? Let me know. Throw some BG merch in the box. I don't even, we don't have merch yet. We don't have, check on Daytona. Yeah, I'm going to tap on Daytona. You see, I'm telling you guys, man. If you guys don't feel, I feel your guys' presence. When, when I don't feel or when I don't see you guys up in here, I, I can sense that. Especially, he's still on vacay though? I thought vacation time was over. Unless he's over, damn. Unless he's got it like that where he's staying over like past the holidays. AOBG, guess what? Another Kobe GG sneaker is coming and it has butterflies all over the shoe as the main design. It says GG on the side and her number on the heel. The original GG Kobe shoe. So when it comes down to that, I think it's that Kobe 8, right? That I think you're talking about this one right here. Talking about these ones right here, no? We spoke about this one, I feel like. Oh, it's the Mamacita Kobe 8? 
Is that Mama Cia Sweet 16, Kobe 6 last year? Oh, wait a minute. This is a Kobe... This is Kobe 4, not a Kobe 8. Which one's the one that I saw last time, then? Which is the one that I seen last time? Oh, no. This is a Kobe 8. No, no, no. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. You're right. These are Kobe 4s. I'm sorry. I got mixed up for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are Kobe 8s. Kobe 8s. Yep, yep, yep. Back door for your boy, the Grinch. Yeah. We're going to have to tap in with him, for sure. Pretty sure Daytona will be back soon. You think, um, damn, how do you guys tap in with Daytona more than I do? That's crazy. Shout out to the 191 up in the building. Family, how are we feeling about the Kobe Fours up in the building? Wait, no, I'm Kobe Eights. Why am I thinking Kobe Fours? I'm still, I'm still saying Kobe Fours. Kobe Eights, family. Kobe Eights. Why am I saying Kobe Fours? I think I'm still thinking about to get the Mambas. Are we snagging up Kobe 8 in this GG vibe, in this butterfly vibe, family? I don't, I'm not going to lie, family, when it comes down to it. Um, I'm not, this is not my favorite one. I think I mentioned it before. When it comes down to the butterflies, it's a cool vibe to it, for sure. But I just don't see myself snagging these up as much, as much. I think this might be my least favorite Kobe from this year. From this year, I think this might be it. And it's not bad, but I just, I don't like it as much as other ones that we've seen. Kobe 9s are fresh. Kobe 9s are definitely fresh. Have you guys seen DeMar DeRozan rocking his Kobe 9s? I feel like he had pulled them off not too long ago. Shout out to Data has kicks as well too, man. There you guys got DeMar DeRozan rocking his 9s right there, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure DeMar is one of those fewer Kobe athletes, no? Doesn't DeMar have like a... I think DeMar only rocks Kobe's. I don't know if that's because he got a, some type of contract with the with Kobe brand or something, but he stay repping Kobe. He stay repping Kobe. Don't rock Kobe's and won't buy them for resale out of respect to fire. Respect to that as well. I'm sure that's not the case with a lot of you guys, too. Gold Kobe logo is cool, though. That's about it. B. Jizzle, let's get it popping. What's going on, baby? The color palette is very bland and boring, says Ari. So you, you're not messing with them, Ari? Them Jordan's trash, says Marcus. Marcus just flat out just letting it be known out there that they're trash. For sure, soul cap. <laughs> nah, yeah. So when it comes down to it, we'll definitely see how these are going to do. But since it is a Kobe, I'm suspecting that these are going to still be an instant li uh Yeah, it's going to be an instant sellout for sure. Um, but maybe we got to see them in hand. Maybe we got to see them in person and stuff. Maybe the pictures don't do it justice, you feel me? Um, but let's talk about what should be some of the good holds for this year. Um, I think you guys see the title, you guys see the thumbnail and all that good, good. Um, I got some recommendations. I think we can we can talk about what would be a decent hold for this year. If you guys did end up hitting on anything from last year or the year before, I think depending on some of these drops that we see this year could take an effect on the resale. On some of these sneakers that we're going to be bringing up, I feel like it's it's not... Um, I feel like there some of these we've already heard before. I think it's just a very smart decision on holding them off and not letting them go too soon yet. Because, again, when it comes down to it, some of these were either limited. Some of these were highly sought after for. And I think depending on this, uh, the drops that go down for this year, it could take an effect on some of these silhouettes or some of these colorways that we've seen. Um, so let's see what's going to go down for this. Um, you guys got any questions of right now? Let me know in the chat. It's the 931 mark. Do we have anything going down for 10 a.m. EST family? DeMar used to be an Adidas athlete, but switched to Nike a few years back and then mainly wear Kobe's. Okay. Thank you so much, Joseph. I appreciate you on that. I wasn't sure if he had like a... Because all I see him wearing is Kobe's flat out. So that's why. Yeah, I think they will retro the Bruce Lee Kobe's. Um, I'm not so sure, man. I'm not so sure. That's a great question. We've already seen Bruce Lee's drop again, though. He's seen them shot drop before. BG, when we get in a cartwheel, BG, like in Oregon Vibes, dude, Oregon Vibes, we had plenty of space. I don't know if I have space here. I ain't going to make it. I ain't going to make it to the other side of the room. I'm flat out be stuck. Stuck up in here. Upside down type shiz. I'll break something. 
Um, I'll go for every Kobe to have trade bait for 2024. But if I can, uh, if I can hit on girls, dad, I'll keep them and use, uh, and use. Got four pairs or four, uh, four girls to trap. I didn't know you guys had four girls. Damn, that's. Where's the Where's the guy at? Where, where's the one that's gonna make it out to the MLB or the the big leagues? Let me know. Now I'm playing. Um, I kid you guys not. I think I heard someone, some uh something else. Uh, but it. Yeah, it's it's out of uh sneaker content, so we'll, we'll probably talk about that on BG Vibes or something. But yeah, I found it hilarious. Um, I really just like how Kobe sell out fast. I just uh want to own a Kobe at retail. Yeah, I mean, you and I both. Obviously, it wasn't the case before his passing, but yeah, it's the time of age that we live in right now. So we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to keep on pushing P. Keeping on pushing P. But one of the first few things that I would say would be a hold for this year is, of course, none other than the Lost and Found Chicago. All right. The Lost and Found Chicago Jordan 1s are obviously one of the better and superior shoes that we've seen drop in a while, I feel like. Um, it's been a lot of pairs going out. There could be a shot drop going down this month as well, too, for EU. But, again, for us in the U.S., we're not so sure yet. If there is anything going down, we'll let you guys know. But like I mentioned before earlier, I think it really does depend on how good the black toe looks for this year. Because if the black toe ends up being flat out, I I can see if if the black toe reimagine ends up being a flat out miss, um, I can see prices shooting a bit higher for the Jordan One Lost and Founds. All right, and that's that's what I think. Um, it could be the very best reimagined pair out there as of right now and i think it since it is in chicago as time goes on it's it's closing in on two to three years so i think we're going to be seeing fewer fewer pairs being dead stock so i could definitely see this bad boy keep on shooting up um it's been stagnant around that 400 range but again i still have high hopes for it i think slowly but surely these will go up to that 600 to 700 range that we've seen those uh 2015 pairs go down so um, yeah, we'll definitely see how that goes. I think another pair that you guys can talk about for it to be somewhat of an, uh, of an investment or somewhat of a hold if you guys still have it or military blacks. All right. Military blacks. Uh, when it comes down to it, we're going to have the military four. uh, we're, we're going to be having the military blue fours come out. They look close to similar to military blacks. I'm sure that depending on what the military blue does in the market, the military blacks will either match or they'll either go up a bit. Because, again, this is an older model of shoe. We don't see restocks like that. EU plans on having another restock on these bad boys. So, uh, best of luck to EU. But for US, we just haven't really seen a restock go down unless it's, like, in store of some sort. B grades or whatever. Um, I think that military blacks could be another shoe that you guys should be holding on for this year as well. I still feel like a lot of people are aiming for this shoe if they haven't hit for retail and... Again, people will look for a shoe uh, to rock for this year when it comes down to it. And if they miss on blues, I think if military blacks are cheaper than the blues in resale market, they'll most likely go for the, the black pair more than the blue pair since it's more wearable. But then again, it depends on how the market goes. So I think that military blacks are a great hold for this year, and I think they keep on going up. I think they're still around that 400 to 450 price tag, which is good. I can see them being 500 by the end of this year. But again, we'll definitely see how that goes. As time goes on, again, it's closing in on two to three years now, right? It's closing in, right? These dropped in 2022, so they're closing in. By the end of this year, it'll make it three. So um, yeah, we're closing in. So it's been it's been close to two years, two years and a half. So it's getting there. Um, BG, you still have your double up on Lost and Founds? I let go of it because I wasn't going to rock that 10. So yeah. Did BG just farted? Uh, no, you guys can't hear my farts, man. They're silent but deadly. 63, what's up, ammo? Morning, B, uh, B Glizzo. What's going on, baby? They need to re-retro the Shadow 10s. Look up, uh, look them up, please. Baby Stacks. I think we... I feel like someone was... I don't know if it was you. I don't know. Was it you that mentioned the uh, Shadow 10s? I think it might have been you or someone else. Oh, no. It, it, it wasn't... Yeah, never mind. I thought... Um, I thought it was someone, I could have sworn I heard something about Steel 10s, maybe. I think it might have been Steel 10s, or, let me see, Steel, are they Steel 10s, or is it Steel, what else? Yeah, no, and I didn't know there was a, yeah. I'm 
But as far as for 10s, man, I feel like we can miss out on 10s as of right now. I don't know. I'm not digging the whole 10 fives. That's just my least. I think I mentioned it to you guys. I think it might be one of my least favorite uh, silhouettes ever. Maybe that's just me, me being biased. Uh, when is EU getting a restock date? Question mark. Just tap in later this uh, later today, family. I'll drop you guys a video about it. I've heard some dates, but we'll give you guys the date or we'll give you guys the the estimate on the date later today. I'll make a video about it. Plus, I can be whatever I like. Um, this is live for Renee. Who are you to pass judgment on anyone's opinion? Um, family, Joseph, when it comes down to people's opinions, just let it be. Just let it be. All right. We're all a family up in here. I'm sure Renee didn't try to get you at it strong. She's very nice, but I haven't read the comments. So please, family, keep it respectful up in here. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Please make sure you guys. I see the comments. Just please. Let families be family up in here. Please. Um, uh, still tense. Uh, Fire Soul says, need steals, need steals, need steals. Damn. So for when it comes down to it, I don't know how I feel about seeing a steel 10. If you guys do want it, run it up for your boy BG. I can definitely miss out on it. I think it's just because I don't like tens. Eddie, what's up family? What's up BG? Good morning. My guy live from the BX New York. Yo, what's going on, Eddie? How you feeling, man? How's BX treating you, man? It's kind of cold. It's kind of blue up in here. It's kind of gray. It's kind of gray today. Yup, CTR says, BG, sup, man? I'm on vacation chilling here in Dominican Republic. Oh my gosh, he's in Dominican Republic. Let me find out, passport boy. Let me find out. Now nah, I'm playing. Uh, happy New Year and keep doing your thing, man. Homie in 2024, I appreciate you 1,000%. And yeah, man, hopefully you're having a great time in DR. And uh, run it up, man. I heard DR is very much affordable, so you guys can definitely run it up like crazy over there. So, yo, run it up for your boy BG, man. Run it up. Just want them to drop a 10 to, uh, to prove uh, they can still make them at this point. Um, again, who would buy 10? I feel like there's only a certain amount of people that would buy. I, I feel like it would be a flop for them to make a 10 right now. I think before they drop any 10s, they should do a collaboration of some sort. So maybe they can give it some type of vibe for a 10. And then we can see another 10 drop. Maybe like an old, an old colorway like a shadow or a steel 10. Yeah, BG, and this is when mods come in handy. But even if we did have mods, I'm sure mods wouldn't even let, you know? Our mods, when it comes down to it, I feel like you guys are very much, you guys let it let it fly because it's nothing disrespectful being said. I think it's just, I think it's just colliding, colliding with opinions. That's all. Which is okay, but at the same time, we got to be respectful. That's all. No, no, not everyone's going to be agreeing with one another. I don't think I don't think anyone here is trying to target someone being disrespectful. I think it's just miscommunication going on. That's about it. There, Joseph and uh, Renee are pretty respectful up in here, so that's why. I, I don't I see it I see it being out of character if any of them. That's why I don't even like phase up too much about it. Uh, J Town, what's up? I think these shoes are gonna hit. Nike has a lot of pressure riding on the shoulders to make their good quality Chicago shoe. A good qual uh, good quality Chicago shoe. Not too bad. Not too bad about that. Anyone agree or disagree? Let it be known. Um, let's see real quick. Anybody else have any questions? Let it be known in the chat. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, so you guys, sometimes you just let it slide. Yeah, for those that don't know what a passport boy is, I can't tell you guys, but just know I hope he's having a great time over there, man. I hope he's having a great time over there, man. BG, do you think 400 for a uh, GOM size 13 is a good deal? Question mark. Gift the Mambas for a size 13. What, 400? I mean, that's a size 13, man. That's that's pretty hard to come across. Um, I try to do like around 350-ish. I'd probably do three. 400 gets pricey, man, but it's very limited. There was only about, what, 30,000 pairs? Very limited shoes, so. Yep. Um, another pair of sneakers. Would definitely be the gift of mambas all right gift of mambas would definitely be another investment uh to take care of for some of you guys if you guys did hit i think they were relatively very very limited to like right around 30 yeah i'm gonna say like thirty thousand. um right now currently they're around that 366 vibes close to 400 vibes if i were you guys i would hold on to them 
If you guys are planning on buying, depending on the size, I would try to buy him for an affordable price tag. 435 is pretty pricey. If he's letting him go for 400, try to see if you can snag him up for 300, 350 ish. Um, but um, it seems like it's already below market now. If you guys are paying 400 flat, that's pretty good. But um, 350 would probably be like a better price tag. I would say that would be a reasonable price tag for a 13. Will you trade reverse Grinches for Gift of Mamas? Probably not, Alejandro. I'd keep my Gift of Mamas. Even if Gift of Mom... Um, no, I'm sorry. I would keep my reverse Grinches. Um, even if Gift of Mamas were limited, that reverse Grinch colorway, I still feel like, is going to be an, a colorway that we're never going to forget or we're always going to be seen around. We're always going to be seeing this, and we're going to definitely have a lot of people trying to snag this up in, within the next couple of years. Just because I don't see them dropping again unless it's like a flat out small little restock of some sort. So that leads me to Gift of Mambas and uh, Reverse Grinches being great pieces to hold. Um, a lot of hoopers that can't afford the Grinch colorway would rather have some type of Grinch. So they would be aiming for this one right here. So I feel like a lot of pairs are going to be worn. Meaning that a lot of DS pairs are going to be growing up in value. I mean, it's, it's flat out, man. The more wear, The more worn pairs are out the more DS values increases, I feel like. So it's just flat out. Less pairs that are brand new. It's going to improve that market pricing. So I could see this being right around 600 to 700 within maybe two to three years or so. Easily, easily. So um, yeah, we'll definitely see. As you guys see, the majority of some prices are being like, yeah, you guys see that rocket. That Oh, no, never mind. That's express shipping. I thought it was going to be because they keep on being bought like no tomorrow. But that's express shipment, so that doesn't matter. But um, prices shot up, family. They were right around that 400 to like 350 in some sizes, and then they shot up. They shot up right after the release. So, BJ, what are your top five sneakers that you are going to cop for the first 2024? For the first 2024, okay, so for 2024, I'm assuming that I'm going to grab the Bread 4s. One pair of Kobe's of any sort. I'm sure that we're going to be seeing a Kobe drop for next uh, next month. Um, anything with Jumpman Jacks if it is early. Um, military Blues. And I got to see... I got to see what's going to go down with Ama Meniere or J Balvin's. Those are my first five. First five. And then everything else to follow up is probably going to be Kobe's. And maybe, maybe the Jordan 4s in that white and gold. But it, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it too much about it to, for it to be a cop cop. But I know that Brett Ford's definitely going to be, definitely going to be the cop. Let's see. But yeah, family, when it comes down to it, like I said before, Joseph, we can definitely talk outside of the stream if you guys do want to talk. Um... But family, it's not that big of a deal. Please don't let it don't let it ruin the whole vibe for you guys today. I promise you guys, nothing nothing that's being said should be like taken against your guys' will or anything. You guys are good. Don't forget the eggplant foams. The eggplant foams are nice and everything, but it's not my main eyes on the price. I'd rather have galaxies. I'd rather have galaxies over the eggplants. Eggplants are nice and everything, but it's not my main eyes on the price. Everything he named got a nickname or store attached. LOL. Well, the military... What type of nickname? Okay, hold up. Hold up. This is where... Everything that I named got a nickname. Well, what else are they supposed to name the shoes? Military Blue is not even a nickname like that to begin with. What else have I said? Bread Forge re -imag Well, yo, the, everything has a nickname, fam. There's no way of getting around a nickname. Hit the like button. Reimagine fours, maybe ivory three. Oh, how could I forget about ivory threes? I'll most likely give ivory threes a chance too. We'll see. I'm not a fan of the 85 metallics. The Jordan 1 lows, 85s either. Um, but not too bad on that. Can I uh, want to go for the bread fours so we can all uh, matchy match? Hey, I would definitely recommend you guys to snaggle them. Yeah, we got to. We got to. What? That would go crazy. Again, shout out to R and Caitlin. Shout out to R and Caitlin. I have the Versace bottle up in here, man. The Versace cologne. I appreciate. It. I can't even pronounce this name because it's so fancy. 
Um, and they got it, your boy's name engraved right there. So that's awesome, man. That is awesome, and I have it right here on my desk just because it smells good right on the desk. What's the best under $250 pair of shoes, says Sam? The best $250 pair of shoes? Dang. Best $250? Anybody have recommendations for that? BG, you copy the Nike um, Alpha Fly 3 prototypes? I, I don't think I've seen that. BG, so you're passing on the Craft 3s? I may, I may pass on the Ivories. I may pass... I may pass on the Ivory, but I, I like them, though. Depends. Oh, how could I forget about Trophy Room Lowe's? But the thing is, Jose, is that Trophy Rooms for your boy BG definitely just uh, depreciated in liking in those. Because I thought it was going to be closer to the Trophy Room 1 highs. And definitely not, man. Definitely not. They switched it up a bit. It might be those early images that we've seen that we may not like. So... I'll give it a chance by next month, but um, I I'd preferably would have had it like this, but in a low cut. Eighty-five cuts are the best ones out of there. Um, no questions, in my opinion, in my honest opinion. Kitty four next up. Don't know what else after that. So black toes. Really? Nah, Curtis. Not even military blues. Come on. There's no way. I know it's nothing different, but still, that's a great colorway, man. Kingsley, what's up? What up, BG? Can't wait for the reimagined black toe. That's all the type of fave color. Uh, that's my all-time favorite colorway. Should I make a custom from the heritage? Um, nah, man. I think you gotta wait. I think you gotta wait for that. Um, for that black toe. If you're already gonna be going for that reimagined, man, you gotta wait. Just wait it up, man. It's gonna be well worth it. And plus, paying for a custom. I mean. Not saying that there's a problem with that, but I would say if you guys already have a, a, a shoe going going down for this year that's going to be close to that custom, might as well just wait for it. You're going to be spending double the money. Double the money, and I guarantee you're going to fall in love with that reimagined pair if you guys do lock in on it. Like, there's no doubt about it. If you guys like a black toe, I hope it is close to this. If this is as close as it gets, bro, it's, it might be a bigger drop than the Chicago's. I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> It might be a bigger drop than the Chicago, just because the black toe colorway is probably more wearable than a Chicago colorway. Chicago is probably bigger and it's like a staple piece when it comes down to it because of the colorway. But wearability wise, black toes. Wear wearability wise, black toes, and that's what makes me feel a bit scary uh, about uh, later this this year. If it ends up being bigger than the Chicago's, it, I don't know. I don't know what's to come. I don't know what's to come. That's going to be flat out a menace to society for sneakers app. Top star next week. Nice. The 11th, I believe, right? Military blues weak to me. Do you already have a military type uh, in, in your collection? Do you have military blacks or SB4s? Because I can understand. If you guys are not going for military blues, I can understand. I can understand if you guys already have an SB4 or Military Black. But I can also understand why people are going for them. Because they look closer to that colorway, to, to that color scheme. Basically, white and black and gray. Or white and green and gray. Or white and blue and gray. Like, that's that's a... That white and gray combination with any other color goes crazy. You just got to really... You got to, like, see if it works out. Because I can't see it with yellow. I can't see it with yellow. I can't see it with white, gray, and purple. Can I see? No, nah, I can't see it with purple. I can't see it with yellow. I can. I may see it with red, but it would. I feel like it would be too loud. I feel like it would be too loud. But that baby blue, that black, I think it's got to be either very light, light, not strong colors, but light colorways, like light tint colors. With that white and gray combination. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm happy that they went with a baby blue, like a UNC blue, then, or a, a Carolina blue, than they did with a flat out royal blue. Like, it probably would have been. I think the fours look too plain in them, uh, in them white colorways. Never felt it. Okay. Enough said. Enough said about that. 
It's just not the vibe. Uh, most, uh, let me see real quick. It most likely will be bigger than Chicago's if they do it right, says Jay. That's if they do it right. That's the thing. If, 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 if. Um, when we get the images, if we see any leak images about it, we'll definitely pop it up as a short or a video for you guys for sure. I've never heard of football gray. Football gray. I feel like I've heard of that. I feel like we've seen that before, no? Football gray. Haven't we seen like a Jordan 1 in that football gray colorway? AOBG, good morning. You just reminded me, wasn't the Air Jordan Low Trophy Room supposed to drop holiday 2023? That's what I was hearing last November. Black Ops, we're supposed to be seeing that by next month. We're supposed to be seeing a trophy room drop next month, if I'm not mistaken. Purple would be tough, says Mario. I mean, there was an SB4 mock-up of, like, blue or something. Like, remember remember they were doing an SB4 mock-up of, like, blue? Instead of it be green, you would see, like, this, like, maroon blue type of vibe. Um, SB4 and blue. Yeah, you see this? Like this blue right here is nice and too. This this blue is right right here. What I like about it is that it goes very well with the white and gray because it's not a strong tint. It's like a darker tone or a lighter tone. Um, now if they would have done things with like a a royal blue or hard like you know what I'm saying, a dark. But the thing is, royal blue is darker too. I, I think it's got to be like a lighter tone colorway. Then it's got to look good. That white and gray combination goes very well with a lighter tone. So that's why I like that blue and that UNC Carolina goes very well. This this blue right here goes very well as well too. It's like a sapphire blue. That's what it is. It's not a royal blue, it's a sapphire blue. Um, I can't wait to see Yayo and his uh, snowball fight Sunday. And his snowball fight Sunday. Let me find out you guys tapping in without your boy BG, man. Evo Kid, what's up baby? I like those blue sapphires. Now, if these were to drop, I ain't gonna lie, man. I probably like these better than the than the greenies. Would you guys think that this is if Nike were to drop these bad boys right up in here, wouldn't these go harder than the uh, the blue pair? I mean, than the green pair. Oh, it is supposed to snow too in New York. I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me do. Is it? Is that why it's kind of great today? Let me see. Let me check it out. I'm over here saying snowball fight. Let me find out. And then I realized it's kind of gray out today. Ah, uh, it's supposed to drizzle all day today. Uh, not drizzle all day, but yeah. Nah, no snow today. Just drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Nah, the green is better. I like both though. Mr. Strictly Kick Six, blue and green. Blue over the green. Now nah, green look, uh, green better looking to me. All I gotta say is that if they were to drop this, this would go crazy, crazy. Sapphire ten times better than the pine greens. Easy. The iris color SB fours would be better. What is the iris? What is the iris colorway? What color is that? Yeah, I like the green more, but that's because I have a lot more blue colorways already. How about if we see, so we, this would definitely be, I mean, for nicknames, I'm not going to lie. I'm already figuring it out. This could be emerald, right? If they were a bit more on the glossier tint side. Uh, this would be sapphire. Might as well just go ahead and run it up with, uh, with ruby. Might as well. I could definitely see him doing some Pokemon some Pokemon vibes to it. They got Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby. I tell the blues for the greens. I don't know, man. I feel like I would keep the blues and let go of the greens. The blue ones are fire. 2016 Black Toes dropping in price ever since the confirmation of Reimagined Pair in 2024. May double back to pick up a 2016 pair. If that's actually the case, if that's true, Black Ops, I, ah, oh, damn, but that's a 2016 pair, though. I was about to say, if that's the case, I'd probably go ahead and fetch that 2016 pair instead of the reimagined, since I already got lost and founds. But it definitely depends on how they played out. We still have yet to get official images on it. A lot of snow in New York is three centimeters now. Wait, nah. 
That's nothing. I'm thinking of driving to uh, WV for uh, some fresh snow this weekend. Is that what it... Damn, you guys just be going out... You see, when I think of snow, I don't like... I used to love snow. But, I mean, I still love snow. But when it gets too hectic, then that's when I'm like, eh, well, I can kind of live without snow right now. You gotta ha you gotta add more hype. Yep, you know you we were both thinking the same thing with the with the SB gemstone pack. Think about it, fam. Nike, if you end up taking this idea, we know where you got it from, man. Think about this an SB4 gemstone pack, bro. Curtis, Curtis is onto something here. You guys got the infinity stones. You guys complete the infinity stone pack, all right? Get them all. You guys going to have to get a nice little glove, a nice little... Think about it. You guys got the Infinity Stones. That'll be the nickname for the pack. The Gemstones or the Infinity Stones. You guys got the green, the blue. What's the Marvel, what's the Marvel Infinity Stones? I love to ski, so I love snow. I'm, I'm actually... One of my worst fears, family, is skiing. You know why? I'm so sorry to say this. On, I, I typically... I'm not the scary type. Uh, Loki, I am. Loki, I am. I'll be honest with you guys. But when it comes down to skiing, I'm scared that I might break a leg. I'm scared that instead of me going cross, I go straight and then it ends up. You know what I'm saying? I think when you cross your legs, you stop. When you strain out your uh, your legs, like yeah, pizza, fries. Have you guys ever gone tr taught that? Um, I'm afraid that I might end up messing up and break a leg or something off doing so. Literally, I, my friend, my friend is a pro. Um, a pro skier, and he he broke his leg off of doing that. He's really good too. Shout out to Mac, Mac Heffernan. If you are uh, if you are watching this video, man, that's the day one right there, man. We used to have Bible study together and stuff like that back when we were kids. Um, queue up and finish line. Queue up and finish line. Family, there was something loaded up for uh, for sneakers app today. I'm pretty sure, and I forgot. Actually, it wasn't anything crazy. Shout out to Sosa. It wasn't anything crazy, but this was this was the thing that was loaded up for sneakers app. This I don't even know what this is. This looks like a uh, generic wannabe off-white shoe. We seen you scream scared on stream, BG. You can't lie. Hey, it's okay. It's okay to scream. There's nothing wrong with being scared and expressing that you're scared. It's just what you're gonna, what you plan on doing after being scared. What are you planning on doing while you're in fear? Is the real question. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to show some type of fear too. But what are your what are what are the what are, what are the initial details you know what are the initial details that you plan on doing afterwards you feel me he not in here BG yeah he's probably not man BG that um that's for serious runners it's about three hundo too expensive man. It's called a snow plow or a snow plow BG. When do you do a V shape to stop? It's the same for ice skating. Yeah, same with ice skating, bro. Ice skating is the worst, bro. Just anything with ice, anything with snow in general. First time seeing snow, I was panicking. First time seeing snow, I, I could you guys not? I saw it in Oregon. It was the first time they snowed in years, like the biggest snow fall ever, I guess, back in like the two thousands, and um. Your boy BG was like so petrified of snow, like he did not know what it was, and he was just like, ah. I remember I was rocking a Dallas, uh, vintage Dallas jump, uh, jacket of some sort. I'll show you guys later when I find it. I'll show you guys later when I find uh, that picture, but it was like an OG pic. <laughs> Somebody wanted that shoe until he called it a wannabe off. I damn BG says Curtis. I'm not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. It's not. It's not that it's a wannabe off-white, but it, it looks like an off-brand off-white shoe. Like, I can definitely see it. Can you guys see what I'm talking about, though? This is giving, like, the Presto vibes, or this is giving the uh, Air Max vibes. This is actually giving the, the Air Force One colorway vibes, too. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's got that clear white type of vibe going on. You guys got the swoosh going out from this part to the midsole. You feel me? Like, that looks, that, that looks like an off-white. This is this looks like a running shoe based off of an off-white sneaker. 
It's easy to skate. I know how to skate. I know how to rollerblade. That's not a problem. I love rollerblading. It's just when it gets to the ice skating ring, that's when I get kind of nervous. I hate busting my ass on ice. And one of my fears too is that I'm 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 ice skating and all of a sudden I fall and then someone else is ice skating and they end up skating so close to me that my fingers come off. That's one of my worst fears ever too. You know what? I got a lot of different fears. You know what? Let me just not let me just not talk about it too much. You get deep into it. deep thoughts. But yeah, that's one that's one thing right there is me busting my ass and then someone's ice skating right next to me and then all of a sudden zink, my fingers come off and I'm like, no. Ah! like on the on the ground with no fingers yeah true story um that never happened to me um any better feeling than being on top of the snow covered in a mountain knowing that you're about to go down that thing oh shiz i could live without snow because i like wearing my shoes nope too late can't hype it up now nike mad says to it is oh Um, ice skating is fun, but I almost cut my hand open on the blade because someone else, uh, fell at the same time as me. Ouchie. You see, this is why I gotta be careful, man. Yo, that's scary. Yo, you guys, th you guys don't think about it, man. Accidents happen. Y'all never know, man, but you guys can't live, live life without, you know, without going out and strong and living life, man. So go at it. I'll do it eventually. Oh, you watch too many movies. I kid you guys not. My brain works that way, man. I can make a movie right now if I wanted to, man. Crazy. Did anyone go for these bad boys or nah? Are we passing up? <laughs> Shout out to the 147 up in the building, man. You guys are amazing, man. You guys just stay in the loop, just showing that love and support every single morning, man. I know it's a dry day. I know it's going to be a dry week or next week too, but uh, we're vibing, man. We are definitely vibing, so thank you guys so much. Hold up. Let me just double check and let me just double take on what the hecky heck is going down. Yeah, we're good right now. Racer Blue's on dunk, uh, Racer Blue dunks on finish line. If you guys are aiming for them, run it up. How good or how well are Racer Blue's doing? I feel like all dunk lows have been like just depreciating in value. Racer Blue dunks. Remember these were hitting crazy before. These were hitting crazy numbers before. 186. They were doing way better before. How are the Racer Blues in this pair? Are we talking about Racer Blues like this colorway right here? Because this colorway wasn't so bad after. This is a cute colorway. Ari, I can see you and Kaylin rocking this one right here. This is a cute one for you guys. It's a cute one. It's in GS sizing too, so it should be somewhat a bit cheaper than some of the other ones. I don't know. You guys rock a... Yeah, this is a, like less than 200, most likely. MBG, I can tell you like dark humor. Um, <laughs> nah, yeah, I mean, like I said before, man, like dark humor is, is nice and everything. Uh, Your boy, I, I like me some humor. I can take a joke as well. Like, I don't usually get uptight. I don't think you guys see me get uptight often when it comes down to jokes, unless it gets like, don't do that, man. You can joke about me, but don't joke about my people, man. You can't. You can't. Yeah, but I do see some. Yeah, so just casual dunk lows, restocking, nothing too crazy on that. BG, what you been up to in the evenings? No BG vibes? Well, we've been trying to settle in with um, more content for you guys. So what I've been trying to do is, one, go to work, of course. It's been a minute since I haven't gone to work, all right? I've been calling out work and stuff like that. So I got to make sure that I'm doing good at work. Um, I'm also doing things outside of the stream where I have to rent out the room. So in case you guys have not noticed... Your boy BG is definitely trying to rent out rooms so he can save up more money. So lately we've been looking for people to like, you know, rent out the rooms. That's about it, Will Ricketts. That's about it. But um, I was going to go live yesterday, but I decided to make videos for uh, shorts and also videos for later on for BG Kicks. That's about it. So I've been trying to preserve my time on BG Vibes to uh, uh, use, that, uh, use that energy and use that as time for BG Kicks some way, somehow. And then also, of course... The rooms that I have to run out. Uh, that's what's great about the outdoors. It forces you to tap into your survival instincts. Something we uh, we as a society need to uh, do more. Says Doc Seuss. Yes, and this day and age, we're not cracking open any. Uh, what did we do as? I will. I don't know about we, because I wasn't there. But uh, back like the back in before BC. 
uh, I don't know what was going on, but we were definitely probably like using sticks and just like making fires off of like leaves or something. I don't know. The Neanderthal, uh, I don't know. OG says, yeah, what's going on? I love when you laugh at our jokes. You know what's crazy? It's kind of hard to make me laugh. Some jokes up in here are definitely like dark humor. But it's good to have dark humor at times. You know, you guys can't always be uptight. You guys can't always be like feeling like, a, 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 you know, humor has to be just proper. It could always be a little sum sum up in there. But it definitely, it's not for everyone. It depends on who you're saying it to and depends on how you're taking it. I definitely don't take anything personally like that. Um, look at BG styling his women. Hey, listen, when it comes down to it, I try to style guys and, and my women out there too. I try. Whether you guys like it or not, I mean, that's for you guys to decide. But, yo, your boy BG tries though. He tries. I try seeing it. BG has, um, has you got to get more active on TikTok. What do you mean by that, Chris? I'm trying to get more, I'm, like I said before, I'm trying to be more active on TikTok and shorts. Like, for the, from the year 2024 since it begun, I decided I need to be more content savvy. So what I've been doing now is shorts are my new wave. Shorts are going to be my new my new content savvy thing to do. Um, I think already my videos are short as it is. So why not just make a short out of it as well too? Um, why not just make shorts? I mean, you guys seen one, two, three, four, five. You guys seen five shorts within like, what? Within four days of the year. So... Yeah, I think, yeah, four days ago, four days ago. Yeah, so you guys see it right then and there, man. We try, we're trying to be more active up in here. So maybe that'll help us out on um, on social media and our views and everything. I think shorts is right now popping off. So why not? Why not jump on it? If everyone else can do it, why not your boy BG, you know? And I think I have fun doing that. Knock, knock, who's there? Um, I ain't saying we need to be cave people, BG, lol. I just mean uh, we need to have the confidence to overcome obstacles. Yeah, I understand. I know. <laughs> nah, boy. BG does a lot of inside lives that comments he doesn't read out loud. I do, man. Sometimes I don't want to laugh because I don't know how you guys would take it. So sometimes, you know, if I hide, if I hide myself or if I just show you guys the top of my head, it might mean because I'm laughing. All right, it might mean because I'm smiling. I don't want to make it personal, but some of the things that you guys say, it's fucking. I mean, uh, effing hilarious. Uh, hey, just cop the reverse Gwinch for three fifty on eBay, and I just sold three shoes on eBay and made a thousand. Great day today, Bay Bay. There we go. Bitchy about to do skits next, dude. I would love to do skits. I would love to do skits. Would you guys want to see some skits? I feel like there's a lot of content where I could do skits. I feel like. Might be corny though, but you guys may like it though. That's that's your boy BG though. You be, you guys consider me corny, right? Does a lot of inside lives comments. He doesn't read out loud. Good morning, BG and family. When's the next big drop coming? Yo, when it comes down to that big drop coming, Mo Green, it could be this month, and it's that shot drop. When we still don't have that time frame yet, but once we get that confirmation up in there, we will definitely let you guys know. We need more skits in that Spider-Man costume. Yo, family, I actually donated the spider costume. I don't have the Spider-Man costume no more. I donated it to my cousin. My cousin is a huge fan of Spider-Man. We shipped him off to Venezuela, man. I'm also going to be doing him justice. I'm going to be shipping off my 11s, and I plan on shipping off some of my slides for them as well, too, since they don't have that many kicks, and he basically rocks the same size shoes. So as far as my beaters going down, I'm rocking these Jordan 11s until probably by the by the end of this month and then that'll be it. That'll be it. But I'll make sure I'll make sure they're not beat up. I'll make sure they're not beat up, but I've been hooping in them and stuff, I'm just breaking them out, I'm breaking them in and stuff, but snap. But not too bad. It is getting a bit more the This is the fastest the fastest uh I guess Dark Soul that I've had on my uh, Jordan 11s in a while. Like, they were like very much light toned. They were very much creamish. They were like light baby bone. And now they're turning into that dark, dark soul that usually goes down with, uh, with Jordan 11s. But yeah, I plan on giving him those J11s because he said he likes 11s. And I already told those. So might as well just give them. Might as well bless up the family in Venezuela. Well. They're probably not. 
as great uh, as uh, having blessed up sneakers like this. So, yeah. Um, BG, yes, and we still tap in. Yo, I appreciate you guys, man. We're we're trying out here, man. We're definitely trying. Morning, fam. Good morning, man. Baby Bone, what the F? Baby Bone, Milky, Milky White, whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, whatever you guys think that colorway is. You know what's crazy? I've been seeing different color, different colors of bottoms for the Jordan 11s as well, too. BG getting thick. Oh, we get in there. Yo, yo boy. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chill with the... Oh, you know what? You guys don't want to see that. You guys don't want to see that. But your boy... Your boy's getting strong. Your boy's getting strong in here, all right? For those that don't know, your boy's been pumping the pumps, all right? Your boy's been... Oh, hold on. Your boy's been... Your boy's been pumping up the pumps, all right? I've been doing my push-ups. I've been lifting my weights, all right? Yo, trust and believe my traps. My trap... Your boy's traps right now, all right? You oh, damn. I'm stretching on my neck. Can't have that. Just know your boy is definitely active right now with his push-ups and his pumps. And you, you know what they say, more pumps, more humps. So that's what we've been working on, all right? So not the baby arms. Yo, family, chill, chill. This, yo, what? Yeah. Oh, I got to shave that. But yo, come on. Y'all see that bump? Y'all see that? Y'all see that bump? Y'all yeah. see that? Come on, man. Let your boy. Come on, man. Those aren't baby guns. Those are baby. Those are not baby guns, man. They're bigger in person. Come check these guns out in person, baby. Um, put those guns away before you get sniped. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll definitely. The newborn baby biceps. Damn, y'all got me messed up, man. These are not baby biceps, but okay, fine. We'll leave it at that. The baby biceps. We'll leave it like that. Um, did you? No, Curtis. Stop that. That's family. They're family. BG been beating. Oh my. You see this? This shit. Come on, man. This is a PS stream. This is a PG stream, man. Did you get mosquito bites on your arms? You know what? You know what? We're calling it a stream. All right, family. Um, It's been real. It's been amazing. I think this is it. I think we're calling it a stream here. This is it. Um, I will drop you guys a video. All right. I will drop you guys some content later today. So stay tuned for that. I should drop you guys a video before 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're calling it a stream here. All right. I ain't going. <clears throat> We're calling it a stream here. Um, and that's that. All right. I feel, I feel. It, yeah. You know what? Yeah. We're calling it a stream here. Me and my baby mosquito arms. We calling it. All right. The haters hating today, man. The haters are hating today, man. Crazy. The haters are hating today for show, man. I like to see what you guys be been lifting. Let me show you guys. I got you guys. Hold up. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Where's one of my weights? All right. Might as well. Might as well. Might, might as well, man. Here we go. Let me show you guys. Let me, I got you. I got you guys right here. This is how it's done. All right? All right? Pumping up the brakes right here. Crypto, chill. Man, this is actually heavy. All right, this is a 20. This is a 20 right here, all right? In case you guys haven't noticed, all right? Okay, you guys see that. Y'all see that. This is not... Yo, I'm telling you. And then you just casually just... You feel me? You let that... You feel... It's coming in. It's coming in. Ah, dang it. These are not baby arms, baby. These are the it's coming in, baby. These are not baby arms. Let's let's not let's not get that all right? Let's not do that. Don't disrespect the kid. Don't disrespect the kid. That, my friends, is basically um that my friend is basically what's his name? Who who's brolic as hell? Who's who's like a that's Bradley Martin right there. That my friend is Bradley Martin right there for you guys. All right, leave it at the gains, baby. The gains. Those are five pounds. Stop playing. Okay, you guys call me. You guys call me. These are these are fake dumbbells. You guys call me. That's not real, man. You guys think I can lift twenty? I can't. I can't. I can't do that. Barely. 
My no muscle shirt coming soon with the pick with his handlebar mustache. Oh my gosh. All right. We're calling it. We're calling it. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. I'm out. I got to get some weights and um, I got to get uh, this box shipped out for Freddy. So shout out to Freddy. Once again, I appreciate you 1,000%. Um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned for that video, okay? It might be important for some of you guys up in there, all right? Yeah, I got I to gotta lift this arm now because, sheesh, I feel I got that pump. I got that pump early. BG, why is your right arm bigger than the left? Actually, it's my left. I feel like my left is more cut up than the right, which is weird because I'm a righty. But we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Baby bicep merch. Oh, my gosh. I'm out. Why do you guys think I'm always flexing after I'm out? We're all out. All right. I love you guys. Peace, baby. Peace. Damn, sweetie. Crazy. Crazy.